Hi, and welcome to part three of our journey to build an amazing HoloLens application. In part one and part two, we built the most basic HoloLens uh, app that we could do, which is basically just a 3D object and some text that floats in front of us. And specifically in part two, we made sure that no matter which app tile we launched it from, the 3D content would move to the where we're viewing it from. So what I want to do in part three is kind of wrap up this week as if that app was exactly what we wanted to build. And now we want to submit it to store. Um, and to submit to store, we want all the branding to look correct in our app. So essentially what we need to do is make sure that we get the icons and splash uh, working correctly on the HoloLens itself. Um, you'd think that's probably pretty straightforward, but um, I found it a little bit tricky. Um, there's so many different types of images and icons and tiles and logos and splashes in Windows Universal. Uh, plus all the other Windows platforms, um, it can be a bit daunting to to get the right sizes, and and you definitely don't want to end up with, um, you know, some Unity icons in your build that maybe down the track Microsoft changes which icons it uses, and all of a sudden your app has the wrong icon on side in the store, or on the on the Hololens start menu itself. So um, that's what we're going to do right now is have a quick look at that. So. Um, there is a page that Microsoft have on their developer um, website that talks about submitting an app to the Windows Store, and this is under the Mixed Reality section, and it specifically lists out what, what they're looking at right now. So, for instance, on the Start Pins um, and the Store Suggestions, Store Listing, it's going to use a square uh, 150 by 150 logo and take it in a, and look for a couple of different sizes that they recommend. Um, down here they say, but you know, if you can include a 310 by 310, then they'll use that instead for the start pins. And they suggest taking a 150% scale of that one. Um, although there's a little bug on this page that, that 150% of 310 is not, not 310. It, that's a hundred percent scale. So I'm not sure if they want a hundred percent or 150%, which would be uh, 465 by 465. Um, and then they talk about having, you know, the store logo, um, that gets displayed in their my library um, and also including um, the wide logo which at the moment they don't use but I'm guessing that they may change their start menu at some point to start using that there's also a splash screen um, the Windows splash screen that they use um, and that goes on the pinned app tile when we pin an app to our wall in our space and it's an immersive app then that is the image we're going to see if it's not an immersive app, um, we see that image initially, but then we start to see screenshots of the app. Um, and of course, not listed here is the Unity splash screen, which is involved as well. Um, so it's all a bit confusing. <laughs> um, so I've created a little bit of a information here. Really what there is, uh, especially if you're new to kind of Windows Universal, what there really is uh, for HoloLens apps is five different types of images that we want to generate. And and to a large extent, like three of them are probably going to be the same image. But essentially there's a, there's a square store logo that we need to upload. There's another square um, logo that becomes used on tiles. Um, and there's also a wide variant of this as well. And probably you're going to use the same image in all three of these and this one will just be centered on the tile. Of course you don't have to, you can use completely different images if you want. In addition to that, there's also the uh, Windows Splash, which as I said becomes uh, pinned to the app tile. And then if you want to use the Unity um, Splash screen, which is what's displayed when you first launch the app, um, then you can include that as well. So what I've done here is, is I've marked in bold um, the recommended ones that from that page we just looked at. So for instance, um, for the store logo, th there's only one size um, for the store logo and then there's different scales of it and they recommend the 150. But I've included here in my list the 200% ones because presently with Visual Studio to um, archive your app as an APX file for distribution to the store and for other people, uh, Visual Studio expects you to include in the 200% icons. So even though Microsoft is giving us these recommended sizes, and most of the time it's 150% size, what we're going to do um, 
today is include the 200% sizes instead. And, uh, and then we'll meet both the needs of the APX and we'll meet the needs of the um, HoloLens Unity app to generate the right files. So let's just have a look and see what Unity actually generates for us right now. So when we do a build, um, build settings, build, and we build to the build folder, we're going to get some icons that Unity generates that goes into our app. So we've got a builds, uh, there's our hello world and under assets here we can see the images that that um, Unity's exported and you can see by default um, that those ones with 200 that's where it's opting for the 200 percent sizes uh, if we start including other sizes then it won't always include the 200 percent ones and then Visual Studio may not work for us but essentially we can see there's a store logo square logo wide logo and the splash screen so Let's go and create our own icon for our Hello World app, and then we'll look at how to generate all those different sizes. So I'm just going to launch up paint.net. We will create a new icon. I'm going to create it at the largest size that I think uh, gets used. So that's 1240 by 1240. We'll go OK. And um, now icons can be uh, icons and tiles can be transparent and if you leave them transparent then Windows Universal will decide what color goes behind it and most of the time that I've seen it's going to be that kind of Microsoft blue so you probably don't want um, to use their color and you want to set a background color but uh, in a tool that I use to generate all the icons um, it's going to let us set that color ourselves so what I'm going to do here is just keep my icon transparent and I'm going to delete the background and then we'll have another layer on top where we're going to draw so let's just put our icon, let's just draw we'll pick a color, maybe that's a cool color let's get a bigger brush and we'll just go maybe even a bit bigger than that we'll go hello world now you've probably got your uh, amazing graphic artist on your team who's going to create you something um, substantially more interesting than I am but uh, this will do for today, I think. And uh, maybe some kind of a little exclamation mark there. Okay, so let's save that out. We'll go save as, and we'll go uh, PNG, and uh, we'll go, we'll just you know, store that at the top of our project. Maybe let's just create a folder up here well we'll just we'll just put it right there we'll go icon.png we'll save that and we'll flatten it out so it, it's a png um, I use paint.net because it has this support for transparency whereas uh, good old windows paint while it's still around doesn't support transparency um, let's also generate a, um, a splash screen too so we'll just go new now I'm also going to generate that at the largest size that makes sense. So um, if we go back and look at our page here, it says uh, it says 930 by 450. That's at 150 percent, but we'll go to the 200 percent size. So we'll go back here. So it'll be 1240 by 600. Okay. Now this one also supports transparency and um, the interesting thing about the splash screen size that I've noticed is that it actually, the aspect ratio doesn't match the window that Microsoft HoloLens uses in your space. So you end up with some bands of color on the top of the bottom which by default are white. And I think that's why we see a lot of white splash screens because maybe Unity didn't support um, being able to set a background color. Uh, or maybe we just people aren't aware of it. So if we um, go with a transparent uh, splash screen, what it means is that uh, when we set the background color, the, the whole space will fill with the correct background color. So I'm going to make this splash screen transparent. And again, we're just going to like just make a fun one. 
I'll just say hello world again. Save that out as well, save as, and we'll say that's the splash. We'll save that. Okay, great. Okay, so now how do you get all the different types? Um, it's a bit of a chore, really. Um, the recommended way that Microsoft seems to be pushing people towards is to use Photoshop and use an action template in Photoshop to generate all the, the uh, icon sizes for you. And there's a great build 2016 talk by Mike Jacobs where he walks you through um, basically um, doing that in Photoshop and um, supplies you with the action template to do it yourself. I don't have Photoshop on here. I'm sure your graphic artist uses Photoshop all the time. So this is probably going to be a preferred way of doing it. Um, you can look online and try and find some generators. Uh, all the ones I found um, don't support the latest Windows Universal sizing uh, at the 200 percent level uh, and also don't support some of the smaller store logos because the store logos change as well so i think you won't find one online at the moment what i uh, am using is if you look in the windows store you'll find something called universal logo maker for windows by tuan msp it's a free app uh, it's very basic but it actually generates you everything you need for windows holographic so i highly recommend um, save yourself some time and just download this app and that's what we're going to use right now so I'm going to launch that app over here and it's going to take an image so we'll load our uh, PNG file go in there we'll load our uh, icon PNG and it lets us adjust where it sits in the in the wide tile so I'm just going to leave it all centered right now and this is where we can pick our background color so um, Maybe we'll go, let's go with like a, oh, that's an interesting color. We can just go green. How about we just go green? So I'll just go horribly bright green for our icons. And, uh, and now we can generate all the tiles. So we'll just go, and you see it's Windows 10 is selected there. So we'll go generate, ignore that error, HoloLens, Assets, so I just created before an icon on the splash folder, but it's empty. So I'm going to put everything in here. So we're going to select that and that is generating all our files. So let's go back to our folder structure up here. And we'll also copy in our splash file. So let's grab uh, our splash file, copy, and we'll just throw that in here too. Okay. So let's go back into unity now. And those are all going to import and let's set this up. So let's do the splash because that's the easiest one first. So we'll just go to the splash image. Um, we'll turn off the unity default, which is that, you know, animated unity uh, flowing in just for now. So we'll get rid of that. And um, we're just going to use the same splash image for both the app starting up and the pin tile. So for the app starting up, you just drag it into the Windows holographic splash image down here. I know that probably doesn't make a lot of sense, but that's that's actually the app launching. Uh, and because it's transparent, um, then it'll look like that text is kind of floating in space. Um, you'll see that because we've got VR enabled that it also puts the same image in the VR splash image. So you can either, I think you can put it in either one of those. Now when our when our app actually gets pinned to the wall, it's going to use one of these windows splash. So we created this scale 200% one. So I'm going to drag it into that. Okay. And we're going to set our background color. Um, so I'm going to set it to a similar kind of yellow that we just did with the icon. So, oh, sorry, green. So we'll just go bright green like that. We'll get, we have to match the exact color. Just why not? Okay, so that's our splash. Now let's go up and do the icons. So we'll start with the store logo. And um, we're going to use 200% for, for all these. So let's find our store logo. There's store logo. Dash 200 is the 200%. Thanks to that tool. 
you'll probably in, you'll probably first be thinking just use the default icon and Unity will set all the icons. Uh, in this particular build, twenty seventeen point one final, that doesn't work. That default icon will not set any of the Windows Universal uh, icons. So you have to manually set all these. We're not going to set the Windows tiles, the Windows Phone. We're just going to set Universal ten tiles. So you can see one, two, three, four, five categories that we want to set, and that tool is going to have them all in here for us. So we'll start with the 44 size one. So let's find 44 and we want the 200. Drag it in. Next one, we want the 71. 71 at 200. Scroll down a bit more. 71 at 200. Drag that in. And then we want the 150 by 150 at 200. Drag it in. Do there. And then we want the 310 by 310, 310 by 310 at 200, drag it in. And the final one we want is our wide icon, and wide starts with W, so down here at 200, we will drag it in. Okay, so we'll save that, and now we're going to do a build. Now, Visual Studio um, seems to have an issue of not detecting all the time when you change tiles. Uh, definitely has an issue when you remove tiles in Unity, it doesn't notice. Um, so just when you're messing with the tiles and the icons and the splash, I recommend like just deleting your entire build folder. Um, that might still not um, solve it for you because um, HoloLens itself caches them as well. So you may also if you notice it doesn't work, you have to turn off your HoloLens and turn it back on for the change to take effect. So I'm going to build into our builds folder now. Great. Okay, so let's go into builds, hello world and assets. And we didn't quite make it. Okay, so we we uh, still have the Unity 200% um, one that's uh, 24, actually 100% 24 at 24 by 24 in the 44s and the store logo at 50 by 50. So let's just go back and put those ones in as well. So store logo 50 by 50, store logo. 50 by 50 is 100 percent so let's go store logo at 100 percent um because we really don't want to risk any of those icons appearing in our app uh if I, if unity has included them then then there's a chance that if something changes that they might get used um so let's also find this 44 square one so come back in here uh, square 44 and it was the uh, target size we want to set is this 24 by 24 and that is I think target scale 150 so let's just drag that in and let's save that and let's rebuild so we'll uh, build settings build let's delete that build folder and recreate it. Select folder. So let's look at builds. Hello world. Assets. Yay. Okay. All our icons are set and they're all 200% scale. So that looks good. The question is, can we build an APX and can, do we see all these icons correctly in the HoloLens? So let's open up the um, Unity pro uh, the Visual Studio project. So we'll go Hello World Solution. We will set to release x86 again. We want to run on the device. We want to deploy to the HoloLens.
So I'm looking at the app tile in the HoloLens and it didn't get the background color. It's defaulted to Microsoft Blue. So let's just check whether it got into the app. And uh, go to Visual Assets, go to the splash screen. And we can see that our image is there, but transparent has been left. So Unity didn't export out the color properly. So let's just go into Unity and check on our splash screen. And let's look at our background color here. And actually, uh, Unity's defaulted to making it transparent. So let's bump that up uh, and then try and re-export that out again and rebuild it. So let's close that. Uh, let's close Visual Studio down. Because I'm going to delete that whole project. And we're going to build again. So we'll go build, settings, build. Let's delete builds. Recreate that folder. Oh. Okay, so let's open this up in Visual Studio and just double check that the background color has come through this time. I'll we'll open up our manifest, visual assets, splash screen, and hooray, we've got a color in there. So let's deploy this app again. Build, deploy. Okay, that says deployed. So I'm gonna put the HoloLens back on. Okay, and I'll open up the start menu. Okay, here's our start menu. Let's go to all apps. Now we see we've got the correct icon. Perfect. So let's pin that up to our home screen. And then we see the large icon is correct too. So let's uh, launch the app. And there's our splash screen with our green background. Um, let's click it there. And we should see the Unity splash screen come up next, which will be the same but no green background. There it is. Great, I can look around. And our app launches, and there we go. So all our icons, splash screens are all set correctly. So that's great. That worked. That took a little bit of time for us to get that done, but at least um, you've gone through it. So I'll upload this to the Git repository. You can have a look. But just to recap, uh, under splash, we've got 200% splash icon, which is our app pin tile under Windows. And then we've got our hollow splash image set up uh, for the unity one we made sure when picking our background color that um, that there's no transparency in it or that transparency is not zero you don't need to tick the splash screen image there unless you want to use that and under icons let's just go through each one so under the store we've got a 50 by 50 at 100 percent and a 100 by 100 at 200 percent and Underneath each one of these universal 10 tiles, we've got a 200% and we've got a target 24 size. Under the 71 by 71, we've got the 200%. Under the 150 by 150, we've got the 200%. Under the uh, square, we've got the 200%. And under the wide, we've got the 200%. So the last thing for us to do now is to build, do a build we can submit to the store. So we come back into Unity and we go Project Store and we're going to say um, Create an App Package. Do we want to submit? No, we don't want to submit it right now. Um, just check that all your versions are correct and we'll do Create. And we're done, we've got our package. Um, and we can uh, now submit that to the store if we want to. Thank you.